Good morning everyone! So today is another very exciting day here in the Mune area. So yesterday we actually explored the town of Mune and kind of the sights to see around there. Now we're going south a little bit to explore the city of Pham Thiet. All right, so we have made it to our breakfast spot. A little bit of a later breakfast and a little bit of a later start to the day. I woke up not feeling super great. My energy is quite low and my throat feels really raw. So, like, fingers crossed I'm not getting sick. But, anyways, so it's about like 10.30. We have made it to Fan Tiet. The drive here was absolutely beautiful. It was so easy. It was on a double lane highway for the most part. So we just kind of flew here. I should have brought sunglasses though because I literally cannot see anything at all. I was just had my eyes closed and there was just, there's so much dirt in my eyes right now it feels like. Graham found a really awesome breakfast place called Sweet Delight. So that's where we've come. We both ordered some kind of breakfast bread, so it comes with eggs, bacon, and a bun. So I'll probably just shove everything in there and make a little breakfast sandwich for myself. We also have two coffees that should be on the way, which I definitely need because my energy is very low today, but I think it'll be a great start. I'm Lynn. I'm getting absolutely spoiled in Vietnam with the coffee selection. It's so great. Vietnam coffee choices are like, probably the best I've ever had, we've ever had, I think. Vietnam is also the number two exporter of coffee in the world after Brazil, after Brazil. That was so stressful. Google Maps didn't know, we didn't know, just going through random streets. Oh, that was very stressful. Okay, so we've come to the Fan Thiet Market, which is like the key main market here in Fan Thiet. Um, also, pretty sure we're not saying that right, so drop a comment if you have a better idea of how to say it, because that's how we think, but anyways. Um, so we're gonna walk around this market. It looks like it's kind of a mix of food, um, so like fish, meats, vegetables, all kinds of stuff. And I think there's like some clothing and souvenir shops upstairs as well. So anyways, we're gonna wander around and have a look. So I feel like <laughs> Graham and I often get to things earlier in the day than they're actually like open. I think here in Southeast Asia, a lot of the culture is a little bit of a slower start to the day. Sometimes they take an afternoon nap. That's what we learned from our food guide tour at least. So there's lots of shops that aren't open right now. I assume they'll probably open like later in the day or more of an evening thing. Um, but this is our first stop of the day. So this is when we wanted to come. So I think we're just gonna have a look around. It looks like there's tons of shoe places on this upper floor. And I think that maybe one or two souvenir shops too. It seems like the food is based on the lower level. Lots of seafood. You can definitely smell seafood and meat. And then up here I think is mainly where like the merchandise stuff is. We've reached a couple spices booths and it smells so good. Okay, so far this has been really cool. Yeah, it's quite the marketplace that they've got going on here. There's so many vendors of all different kinds, so it's very cool. Also, quick tip that if you're coming to here, or really any market for that matter, when you park, just make sure you like <laughs> drop like a pin or like save where you've parked because Robert and I got to the top level. We're very turned around and we're like, oh boy. Yeah. We have no idea where we parked. 
because all around like the indoor market is an outdoor market and there's so many like little streets and everything and we don't usually like drive to places so we parked like a little bit farther away like yeah. a block or two because there was no way we were weaving through on a scooter no. um, and uh, luckily we've reoriented ourselves we see the direction that we came but uh, yeah okay so this building is definitely a lot more open because it sells a lot of like clothing jewelry like kind of things that you would shop for um, as opposed to like food and spices and things that you would cook with and the lower level looks like it's flowers and fruits so the smell of this one is a bajillion times better than the other one over there that one was cool to see but this one smells really good Okay, so we have been wandering around for a little while. This has been a really cool experience. When we first got here, I was a little bit overwhelmed. I think all of my senses maybe were a little bit heightened and it was a lot of uh, new senses and new smells to me. So I was a little bit unexpecting of it, but overall it's been really cool to see like the marketplace itself and everybody in their culture and enjoying themselves at the market. It's, it's really cool to see it. Okay, so we found the main entrance. <laughs> we uh, obviously started in the back and walked through to the main entrance. We also found the entire parking lot, so then we wouldn't have had to look for our scooter again. So uh, if you are coming here, just come find this main entrance and uh, you'll have a little bit more luck than us, I think. <sighs> Welcome to the Fantheid Beach. Just kidding. We have no idea where this beach is. We have ended up in somebody's backyard in a fishing area. We have ended up here with these big trucks and boulders and stuff. So a little bit confused. The, if you search up the Fantheid Beach on Google Maps, you'll see where we are. So there probably is the beach somewhere, um, but all of these like big trucks and yards and like industrial area almost is all in front is between the road and the beach so neither robin or i are really sure how to actually get to the beach google maps is wanting us to take that road and then go down but like it doesn't even say like google maps didn't even say that this was an entrance it said that the other side of a beach was an entrance and then when we got there first it was just like people's backyards and things like that and then the locals are trying to direct us that it's around the other way. And so we've ended up on the other side of the beach, supposedly, but we still can't get down to the beach. Um, it's not like we brought our swimsuits or anything. We just wanted to see it because it looked beautiful online. But like, I think we might just skip this one and go to our next spot. We're definitely gonna skip this one and go to our next spot. Okay, so we've scrapped the idea of the beach altogether, and we've come to the next spot on our Fantiet tour, DIY tour, and we've come to what's called the Posa Inu Cham Towers. It's like a tower of worship. It seems like it's set up to hold like a lot of people. There's not a lot of people here right now. Um, so we're just gonna explore and see what's open, see what we have access to, see if we have to buy tickets. We actually have no idea, but I think the entrance is that way. Okay, okay so we got our tickets. They were 30,000 in total, so 15,000 a piece. Let's go check it out. Okay, so if you're like me and want to know more about the role they've had in the past, um, this is for you. Okay, so the history of this is this is a Ponagar, um, which is a complex of the Shampa relics dating from the 17th, 7th to the 13th centuries. I'm getting, I, oh, got, geez, yeah. I got bit by ants. 
Okay, now that we're out of the ant hill, in the language of the Sham people, the word Ponagar in the name of the tourist attraction means the mother of the country. Wow. So this is like a Hinduism worshipping place, I guess, or history, or relic, so um, it's pretty cool. Okay, this place has been absolutely beautiful. We've loved it, and it was like, what, like 50 cents? <laughs> Maybe yeah, was, to get in dollar, here each. It was a dollar twenty to get in in total. Yeah, and it's been really, really peaceful. Honestly, we've seen like maybe one or two other tourists. So Graham and I have just kind of been sitting on the bench in the shade for the little bit, just kind of enjoying the view. But yeah, honestly, completely worth it. We have gotten quite the tour of Fantiet so far from all of our missed turns and unsuccessful we, like locations. We have seen a majority of the I think we've city. seen about 90% of Fantiet. <laughs> Um, only uh, stopping in about in two different places. Yeah, it's honestly it's been really fun. nice to drive ourselves around. But I think we're gonna put the camera away for right now and pick it up again when we get to our Bon Me place for lunch. All right, so we got our Bon Me. Because we're only like 20 minutes away from our place, or maybe 25 minutes, something like that, we're gonna take it back so that we can eat it at our accommodation. And I'm driving this time. My first time driving in like a city, but it's a pretty organized city. And I feel kind of confident. I'm only nervous about the roundabouts, so we'll see how those go. She'll do great, I know she will. We're back, time for us to enjoy our banh mi. Okay, we are hopping back on the scooter one more time. Thanks again to New Name Motorbike Rentals for the scooter for the last two days. It's been awesome exploring on this thing and we are gonna go find some supper. I think we chose a really nice local place it's quite busy with a whole bunch of locals, lots of like families and stuff. And I'm pretty sure our noodles were, I should have checked the prices again, but I'm pretty sure they were a dollar Canadian. Just like that, food's gone. It's been in about a minute. No, they just forgot the vegetables in our dish, so they're gonna go put them in and then bring them back. Ah, that looks so much more full. They grew by two sizes, it looks like. Yeah, looks great. We're gonna give it a try. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. That food was unreal. So it came to 107 thousand dong total and there were so many people and like groups around people had birthdays and they were singing there was lots of kids and family so it was a really nice experience yeah highly recommend okay we have made it back from supper we are currently in the midst of packing and getting ready to kind of move on for our next adventure there is honestly nothing worse than packing when you're not feeling great like I definitely definitely feel like I'm getting sick with something oh and just the last Stay away. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is pack my bag but we have such an early start tomorrow morning that we have to also wanted to recap our kind of overall opinion on Fantiet. Fantiet is a way bigger city than I thought it was and it has like really nice big roads so it's really easy to kind of maneuver if you're taking yourself around like on a scooter and stuff. Yeah. It's got lots of good places to eat. Not sure where the beach is but <laughs> but it's not like we yeah, were going you, for a beach day. If you find the beach in Fantiet, drop us a comment with a link to the Google Maps. <laughs> We've never we found find it. it. We didn't find it. But that sham tower that we went to was honestly so nice. It was so peaceful. It was just mm -hmm. like, it kind of stood out amongst like the more developed city. Overall, I think how we've explored the Mune and Fantiet area has been really good to just get a scooter and go back and forth and be able to do our own thing for the whole time we've been here. But I think we are both excited to move on and see a new place. Yeah, so we're super excited for our travel day to a new place tomorrow. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.
pay to commemorate, commemorate, can't read. And if you're excited to see it, come along with us. No? Yeah. Well, you laughed like it sucked. <laughs> My mouth just. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my mouth is on fire. <laughs> Everything feels like it's flames. Can you help me with these, my bike? Uh, I'm just gonna start watering. See ya. See ya? I don't know, say it again. I don't like it. <laughs> I've never said that ever. Bye bye. See ya!